Silver it. Hi guys, it's again, and I'm back with another part of the tutorial, or episode, if you will. I'll call it both a part and an episode. And my frame, my FPS right now is not exactly the best thing that has ever happened, but I guess I'll I'll manage. This is a this is a problem with my my crappy laptop, and fraps being very heavy, and it's early in the morning, so I'm being kind of quiet. So anyway, um. Like, we've got this, this little wall on the cliff face over here, and I feel like it's, it's not the greatest thing. So, what I'm going to do with this is something that I kind of often do, but then again, I don't do it very often, but it's just a little trick that you can do sometimes, is I like to, I like to take Station Gym's fencing set, and take these wall columns, to add some detail to this, this cliff face, because it's looking kind of boring, and well, it's just one big cliff of rocks, so I'm just going to add some details to this. And I'm going to do that using this set. Just going to place a couple of these pillars to make that look a bit less boring. Just add some uh, random detail to it, that's never a bad thing. I would usually all, all also do this um, corresponding to the fences on top, so for example if you use other fences, fences that do have to use these wall columns then you can like uh, make them match up so have a wall column on the cliff face over here and then a post in the fence for example a wooden fence over there so that all matches up but in this case I don't have that going on so this this should do fine and this also can get you rid of those weird transition pieces except in this case I'm probably just gonna do it like this that's probably better than seeing that weird transition piece because as you can see you can kind of see the the little oh and the elevation is always annoying you can kind of see the little gaps uh where it goes into a different wall piece okay now this is a problem with with um terraforming rct3 that you can't really do anything about and the camera position is based on how far from the ground it's located and there's a little cliff face over here so yeah i can't do anything about that and now for the diagonal piece, I am of course going to pick the diagonal columns, but you've got those as well in this set. It's a really great set. I would really recommend this for doing anything. Like right now I'm using it for the for those fences on top, but you can also use it for the uh, stone things. Anyway, I'm just going to continue along uh, the wall here. It's a shame you can't, uh, there aren't any pieces for these curved pieces, so you're just going to have to let that be like that. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it's better than adding random things that don't look good at all. Now let's see. I um, Right now I'm using a placement, whereas every pillar is um, how many three quarter tiles away from uh, a different pillar. But I would usually, uh, you can also choose to use a system like this, where it's just two full tiles. But right now I just like using this. And the fact that this part is that there's a slightly bigger distance over here doesn't really matter that much. You probably won't notice that in pictures or anything. Maybe if you have OCD, but thankfully I don't have that. Okay, so I'm going to need that diagonal piece again for this place. And then if it all went well, the wall should look a bit more nice right now. Yeah, that's just slightly better. Just looks a bit cooler. Now, um, what I see many people always doing is they just leave the sidewalk like this. Which is not something that I would recommend. So, what I would usually do is I take a set. And, as of lately, I am addicted to Brian's sets. Um, so, I'll, I'll link that in the description as well. This is a great set. And uh, you can use that for the borders of the sidewalks. Like I see many people not add any borders to the sidewalks, and it looks like this. But um, I think it looks it looks a lot better when you add little borders like this. Yeah, you have to spend time on that, so that's a bit annoying. But um, in the end, I think it looks a lot better. So I'm just gonna do that along the sidewalks. Oh. Okay. Now that's just a bit of a boring thing, but like I said, it's it's very handy. And in general, it makes the sidewalk look more sidewalky because in real life you also have these like 
little stone borders for the sidewalks because the sidewalks should be kind of uh, more elevated um, when you compare them to the normal street but then again you can't do that in roller coaster icon 3 so this is this is all you can do to kind of create an illusion that the sidewalk is slightly raised okay now this has all the pieces in it that uh, shy guys sets have in it uh, and as you can see these are diagonal to straight pieces but it even has the diagonals to straight pieces and curves that shy guy uses and called shy in this case so this is a really great set it works with any fence set uh, so it works with any path set so I would really recommend this set plus the textures are pretty good in it as well it's not the best textures ever but it's 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 good enough and I like some textures like this bedrock texture I really like and now there are also plugs for like these very small gaps as you can see but I don't think that's too much of a problem you usually don't really see that but if you really feel like um, filling that up because you have OCD or something I don't even know then you can take these plugs I think it's just plug one yeah and kind of do it like that but I feel like I don't want to see that circle on it either so this is probably better for fences for example anyway that's that's that then going to have to do that over here as well but I think I'm going to do the fencing first and now comes the hard part of doing uh, a transition of having a sidewalk to not having a sidewalk so I'm going to take Coaster Joe's pathway extensions again and just quickly finish that up um, I kind of want to have the sidewalk going around the roller coaster so you can have a nice little view of it so I'm just gonna continue this along the way I think until you have that ramp part because frankly I won't be able to add sidewalks on uh, terraform parts like this you can of course because there are some sets that have conforming uh, path pieces but then again it's it's kind of annoying to work with and it's not the greatest thing and I see some people like the mistake that I've made many times at sidewalks everywhere but if you go to a real theme park they don't add sidewalks everywhere like sidewalks in most of the major places especially main streets main streets really need those things other heavily themed areas usually have them and coaster panoramas like these of course do have sidewalks but not everything has sidewalks so it would probably be a good idea to leave them out at some places okay then now I feel like actually no the sidewalk should kind of disappear like this in a way let's see that the real path is going to go over there and no 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 that's weird um, you either have to include the sidewalk in the in how wide the path is or not so example um, you could say that this is the path over here and then the sidewalk should just stop over here and also make the path a bit more narrow but you can also say that the sidewalk should stop into that direction and just make the the middle path wider uh, but that just depends on whatever the situation is I'm still kind of debating what I should do over here I think I'm gonna end it like this even though I usually don't really like this as much it's probably my best bet in this case because this leads up to the rocks that I have over there so that makes more sense in general also that means I can uh, have some uh, straight fences on the kind of the slopey part and that's something you want to have because conforming fences that have curves in them that have all the curves in them that this set has for example you don't that doesn't really exist and if it would exist it would be very annoying so I'm just gonna leave that out and over here I don't have any of those any of those rocks to deal with and it does have to make a turn slightly slightly to into this direction anyway so I'm just gonna end the sidewalk in that direction right well, that should work I already did that over here so that sh this should be fine though I did add a slightly weird transition over here I probably shouldn't do that I should probably do it like like this yeah I should let's see Mm. though to be fair the path does go all the way over there so you know what, I'm just gonna try it like this yeah 
And then before I forget it, that'll be the last thing I do in this episode. I can kind of turn this into a small path stuff, tips episode, and borders episode. I'm gonna add the same borders that I added on the cliff side. Um, Brian's borders, just gonna take those bat rock ones. They're probably my favorite texture from the set, but it also has other textures like recolorable textures, a re recolorable version of this one, and many great things like wood and concrete. It's it's a great set. Okay, now the terraforming is kind of annoying, so I'm just gonna hold Control to keep it at the same elevation. Okay, so I need some of these normal diagonal to straights because this is not a shy guy's path set. Wait, he doesn't. Wait, he yeah, he does have paths. Okay, just gonna finish this over here and add another small diagonal over there. Now the rest shouldn't be too annoying with that terraforming, so I I probably shouldn't have to use control to, at the control at this point. Okay, now this looks like a oh it's a it's a four curve. Okay, now this displacement is a bit annoying, but it's good enough. Okay, and then I'm almost done with this. Let's see, some diagonal to straights. I think this looks like an A, yeah. And then I'm going to uh, do the straight things first, just because there's more of that. Okay, this all works. And then last but not least, one diagonal parts. The diagonal double is a full tile, so that's what I'd recommend using. Okay, so that's nice. So we've got a nice little, um, we've kind of made the cliff side a bit nicer, and we've added some nice little sidewalk borders, so that's pretty cool. And I think in the next episode I'm just gonna finish the path with more fences stuff like that. So, see you then.